Hi everyone, hope you had a good Thanksgiving. We're sitting here today with Trevor Doden, Brett Cloutier, I'm Mike Gallagher. Well, uh, welcome back from your long Thanksgiving break. We, uh, we had a good one. Brett, how was yours? It was excellent. Good time. Uh, good, spending good time with the family and just kind of relaxing. Trevor, yourself? Good eating. Fantastic. Love it. So we're, uh, we're talking about Concordia, Wisconsin last week to open up. You know, looking at a team that's you know, won six games in two and a half years. Uh, you know, I've been outscored by 38 goals this year heading into the weekend. So were you, were you satisfied with that? What did you need to do to improve moving forward? Uh, well, coming off of uh, the kind of weekends that we'd had, we had one in a few nights. I thought uh, it was good for us just to get the original victory Friday night. It uh, was kind of a struggle. We didn't play our best, but anytime you come out with a win when you haven't had one in a few weekends, you're always you're always you know what you're always succe uh, successful with that, and you're satisfied with. I guess I should say. So we were uh, we were excited with the win on Friday night, but uh, at the same time we knew we had to play better. And, Coming into Saturday, we wanted to kind of assert ourselves as a better team, and I thought that we did so. Um, so a few days off from uh, Thanksgiving break, from away from the team and away from Augsburg, how do you stay sharp mentally and physically with come with the stretch on your season now coming up? Well, I think it's kind of an odd way of looking at it, but I look at, you know, it's just an easy way to stay sharp is because you are getting away. You don't have that mental that mental grind that you're continuing to go through with, the, you know, with the studies and, and practice and games. You just have that little time away that kind of helps you refresh your refresh yourself and refresh your passion for the game and kind of refresh your, I guess, companionship with your teammates. So I think that's it's kind of the way I looked at it, staying sharp. I really didn't do much as far as uh, staying sharp, uh, I guess, physically, but uh, just mentally coming back uh, with a, a healthy want to play the game. It's a great way to look at it. You know, looking forward to St. John's this week. You know, you lost 3-2 and then 2-1 last year. So are you, are you kind of looking at this as a revenge game, way to just, you know, really move your season forward? I'm not necessarily sure that I would say it's a revenge game. But I will say that uh, last year we felt we kind of let it, um, let a couple points get away. You know, with obviously a couple one goal losses, we would have you know liked to at least get a point or two out of those with that or out of the weekend. But um, I won't necessarily say it's a revenge game. But again, I'll just say you always go into conference uh, conference games looking for points, and last year we didn't get them. So this year we're uh, we're definitely looking to take a couple points out of this weekend, hopefully four and. Uh, you know what, we'll go into Friday and take what we can get, and hopefully it's uh, come out with a W, and then, uh, you know what, we'll move on forward from there. So far this season, St. John's had kind of a similar season to you guys this year, and last year, you're going to finish right behind you guys in the standing, just missing the playoffs. Um, do you kind of see this as a series that, you know, you said get four points, we'll get three or four points against them, kind of establish yourself away from the middle of the pack and kind of up in the upper echelon of the conference? Is that kind of how you look at this series? Absolutely. I think, uh, you know, it's so early in the conference season, but you still have to look at opportunities that you can get to, uh, I guess, separate yourself from the teams that you feel you're better than. And this, this would op obviously be a, an opportunity that we have uh, to go out there and pick up a couple wins and, you know, like I said, separate ourselves from a team who we feel that we're better than and, you know, separate ourselves uh, into the, like you said, the upper echelon of the conference. Talk about opportunities. You know, this team, St. John's, is very opportunistic. Four shorthanded goals this year. You know, you gave up two, two even strength goals and two breakaways uh, last week against Concordia, Wisconsin. So how do, you, how do you prevent that from happening? You know, what, talk about specifics you got to do to shut down that, you know, opportunisticness of that team. Well, I think, um, you know, the couple breakaways we gave up last weekend were just kind of, uh, they might have been just, they came from, you know, not necessarily uh, that we weren't working hard, but it was almost too hard work. We had too many guys willing to go outside of maybe their lanes of pressure, maybe outside of their uh, their responsibilities to try and make plays. And, and you'll have that when guys are, you know, competitive and things like that. So, but I think we just have to shore up uh, the way we play the game. Maybe just play a little smarter instead of uh, playing, you know, not that they, not that we weren't competing, but we just have to c compete a little smarter where um, in those areas of the game. And I think. Like you said, they're very, um, they're very opportunistic, and that's that's just fine. We'll just have to make sure that uh, we're more, a little more careful with the puck, and uh, I guess turnover areas of the ice, and make sure that we handle the puck with care. You talk about you know being careful. The puck is obviously a key to this upcoming series. Uh, what else would you say would be a big key to get four points for this series? I think it's a, it's a good week of preparation. I think uh, you know. We had a week off last week that, like I said, maybe kind of refreshed some of the guys. So it's coming back to work, and it's just really refreshing that desire to want to be to want to be the best and want to compete at the highest level. So I think preparation is always a key for any team. Um, maybe more so for us, just given you know the way we've kind of started our started our season off. But also just um, I guess are willing to uh, compete in ways such as you know. Doing it for the guys next to you, not necessarily doing it for the for you know the points and in, in I guess the scorebook, uh, being able to block a shot or take a hit to make a player, little things like that that really make a difference. I think that's what we have to focus on. 
That's Trevor Doden, Brett Cloutier. Uh, looking forward to this upcoming weekend against St. John's. See and, you guys there. Yes, we'll see you there for sure, and hopefully uh, Augsburg come out with four points. Trevor, thank you very much, sir. Have a great week, folks.